Hi everyone and welcome to day one of the Bravo challenge. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go over the different types of menus Bravo has to offer and how you can start creating them in Figma. First, the slide menu is a menu that slides out from the side of your app when you press the menu button and reveals your menu options to navigate your app. The tab menu is a tab bar that remains at the bottom of your app. It contains different buttons or icons that will allow you to switch between tabs or pages of your app. The modal menu is a full screen menu that appears when you press the menu button. It contains your menu options to navigate your app and you can close it using a close button. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start off with how to do a slide menu first. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Figma. So I have my Figma file here. And for these tutorials, I'm gonna be creating a recipe app. So in my recipe app, I am going to have three screens, a home screen for recipes, a category screen with different categories, and a profile screen. Now to set up a slide menu, what I'm going to do first is create a new screen for my menu. And to do that, we can either come up to the left here to hit the frame button, or we can hit F on the keyboard. On the right section here, I'm going to go ahead and hit 11 Pro or 10 which will give me a brand new screen here. I'm gonna bring it over on this side and zoom into my screens. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and design my menu screen. I'm gonna make sure I have the same background. Now, what we're gonna to do to create the menu is create a rectangle and I'm gonna create a rectangle I'm gonna pull it from top to bottom and I'm gonna make the width about 250 pixels wide. Now I'm gonna change the color and everything here a bit. Now in my menu, um, this is gonna be the part that slides out. So I need my options that are gonna allow me to navigate to my three different screens. So first one I'm gonna put is home. I'm gonna change the color of it and the size and what we will do then is I will duplicate it and give me my two other ones which is category and profile Oops, capital there and I'm gonna go ahead and add a icon in my menu right over there. So this is a recipe app, I'm gonna add a little carrot. And this is gonna be the look of my menu. Now this main app screen here, we're gonna to have to use one of Bravo's tags, which is the menu slide, because it's gonna be a slide menu. So we're gonna go ahead and put menu slide. And that's gonna be our main app screen tag. Now I need to make sure that this section of my menu is a container. So I'm gonna to have to frame everything in here in a frame. And I'm gonna make sure that it is wrapped in or named with a container tag. Now I need to make sure that when I open this menu that these buttons go to the correct page. So in order to do that, over here, instead of design, we're going to go into the prototype section. I'm going to double click on my home button, make sure it goes to home, category to my category page. And all I'm doing is there's a little plus button next to it and I'm dragging that over to the page that I want it to navigate to. Alright, now the other thing that we have to do is make sure that these menu buttons on each of the pages open up our slide menu. So I'm gonna double click on each one and make sure that they open up and navigate to our slide menu. So one more, just like that. Now when you're in your prototype section, you're gonna notice this play button right over here. 
This is basically gonna say what the home screen or the first screen that opens is. Now we don't want it on our slide menu, we want it to be actually on whichever one of these screens we want to be open first. So in this case, I'm gonna set it up on my home screen. And there you go, that is how you set up a slide menu. All right, so our next menu type is going to be the tab menu. So just like the slide menu, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on F, create another screen for our menu, make sure that I have the same background here, and I'm gonna go ahead and design my tab menu here. Now, tab menus are normally gonna exist at the bottom of the screen, so I'm gonna draw a rectangle with the height of 100 pixels, and I'm gonna make it span all the way from the left to the right. Do some design edits here. And what I'm gonna do here is add three icons for my three different pages. All right, so I'm gonna have a home icon, a middle category icon, and a profile icon here. Now, just like the slide menu, we need to make sure that our main screen here is named with our menu, but this one will be our tabs. And we're gonna have to frame our bottom bar here. So I'm gonna tap on F, frame the bottom bar here, and we're gonna make sure that it's named with our container tag. And just like the slide menu, we're gonna have to go into prototype Make sure these icons are going to the correct pages. Now we don't have a menu option or need anything to navigate back to the tab menu because the tab bar will always be showing at the bottom of our app screen. And we're gonna wanna make sure that our play button is on the main screen that we want or the first screen we want opened. All right, and our final type of menu that we have at Bravo is our modal menu. Now, in order to make a modal menu, again, I'm gonna start off by making another screen. And a modal menu is more of a pop-up menu. So on our screen here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and name this menu with our modal menu tag. And I'm actually gonna make this whole section here my menu. So I'm gonna do a little designing here. I'm gonna make that yellow. And inside of here, we're gonna add a few things. Now, I'm gonna have my three different buttons to navigate me through my three different pages. I have an icon here in the top left, but in the modal menu, we do need a button or an icon to close out this menu. So I went ahead and made this little X here and that we are gonna have to make sure we use the action close tag when naming that button. And this here is if someone wants to exit out of this menu, uh, they have the option to just hit the close button. Now we're gonna have to go back into prototype, make sure that our buttons navigate to the correct screens again, and make sure our play button is on our first screen we want open.